hey sunshines welcome and or welcome back to my channel i have missed you guys so so much it's your girl kiana janae chilling with you on the money plan where we talk all things money so like i said i have missed you guys i have missed you guys i have missed you guys life has been lifing i have been messing up i have been just I don't know if y'all do this in this whole money world when you're trying to get your finances together or even just in life in general. When you mess up, it's like trying to get back to on track just seems so hard and so far away. But today, y'all, I'm doing it. I'm just I'm just doing it. I'm doing it. I'm jumping back in here. I played around enough in 2023. I need to really stop playing with myself. So what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and stuff my wallet. I have some other money in here for a couple other things that we had to do this weekend uh, which today is Sunday when I'm filming I've already spent some of this money that's still in the envelope but I need to take this money back to the bank on Monday and pay it back to my credit card so that's what I'm gonna do I got the money out of the bank on Friday I was supposed to film my video Friday but y'all again when you are a mother of three a single mother of three very active children with a full-time job and two part-time jobs and still trying to have a little bit of a social life Baby, it gets tough out here. It's hard out here. While I'm getting the money out, so just what else been going on with me? So for the month of February, it's going to be an extremely busy month for me. I'm going to film a plan with me video, but it's going to be in my shorts. All right, let's count this money. We have 100, 200, 300, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 450, 470, 490, 510, 520, 530, 5, that's 530, 540, 550, 555, 560, 561, 62, 63, 64, 65. So we have $565 right here. Now we are going to stuff my envelope and then we're going to put some money back in the bank envelope because it does need to go back to the bank. Let's go ahead and get started with my wallet. For grocery, we are going to do 200 because y'all, I don't know what happened from when I was doing my videos like earlier in 2023 to right now. Well, I know what happened. Inflation. Because baby, my grocery bill cannot get under $200 a week to save my life. So I'm going to try to do some bargain shopping and see what I can do. But y'all, honestly, when you're somebody who don't have a lot of time, like trying to bargain shop is hard because I don't have time to go to six different grocery stores for stuff. Like y'all and a new found, a new love of mine is Harris Teeter. Absolutely love it. 10 out of 10 recommend it on every scale that they have out there. I love Harris Teeter. I used to be scared of Harris Teeter because I thought it was like a really expensive place to shop. But honestly, when I went in there, I spent no more or less than I do in any other grocery store. And I really was just going to Walmart because it's closer to my house. But, um, Harris Teeter is the move from now on. It's a few things that I still pick up from Walmart, but the, the majority of my shopping will be at Harris Teeter. But anyway, we are going to do $200 and we are going to do a hundred, a 50, two twenties and a 10 to make 150, 70, 90, 200. That is going to be for grocery this week. Speaking of that, it's Sunday and I haven't gone grocery shopping. Y'all, I'm losing my mind. Um, we are going to do 20 for our household because I don't have a lot that I need to pick up. Just a little bit of stuff. One, two, three, four, five. 25 for household. I'm going to do my normal 40 for dining out. I'm going to do a 20, a 10, and two fives for that. And then, you know, miscellaneous in my wallet is actually gas. So I am going to put $20 because I already filled up before the week ended. I filled up like Thursday, um, but I already need some gas. So I'm going to put $20 more in there and that should get me through the rest of the week. And that is it for my wallet. So plans for this month. I had a birthday dinner for my cousin, which was yesterday. I set aside $50 for that. I already spent that money. Um, and I actually went over budget by $8. My bill with the tip came up to $58 and some change. So I went about $9 over. But this is going to go back to the bank. 
I also have my bir a birthday dinner. My middle son, my second born, turned 16 on the 30th. And we, um, so he got his birthday gift already. And I already took like pizza and cookies and chips and drinks to his basketball game on his birthday for his team. So we kind of did that to celebrate. And then he is having a birthday dinner tonight at his favorite hibachi spot. So I put together um 160 for that so because i'm paying for everybody nobody's paying for themselves so 160 for dinner that's going to be spent tonight so i'm going to actually put that in my wallet because i'll be taking this with us so that i can pay cash and hopefully i don't overspend i'm just going to put it in front of grocery um, I also have planned my me date this month. So a goal of mine this year is to really prioritize myself, to prioritize my spiritual life, my fitness, just overall health for myself. Um, and a part of that mental health and just taking care of me and prioritizing myself is me getting to know me and spending time with me. So I have to do a me date every single month. Um, my therapist is just like, yes, that's the best idea. I don't know if you guys ever heard of this app called Meetup, but she told me about it where people meet up and do activities together so they don't have to do them alone i'm really thinking about doing it if anybody has ever tried it definitely leave me a comment down below i'm a little bit apprehensive just because you know the world is crazy today and i don't want to meet up with some folks that i don't need to be linking up with so i'm gonna have to pray about that thing but for now i'm doing a me day and it's going to be really special it's for valentine's day if you guys want to see like what uh what i'm wearing and where i'm going and how that goes go follow me on social on instagram um, I am actually about to start a whole new Instagram page so that you can come follow me on my new journey of healing and self-discovery. It is going to be amazing. Um, so that's just a little bit that I have going on this month. And, um, after this, I need to do some no spend months, months because your girl need to stop spending money. I, I spent way too money, much money on Valentine's day. Um, I'm making some stuff for my kids, but I need to really chill out on the spending and get myself together. Um, we'll talk about future plans and everything like that on the channel a little bit later. Um, but this last $90, the kids got haircuts yesterday. So this $90 has already been spent. I need to put this this back in the bank as well so this is going over here back to the bank it goes and it will be um, going on my credit card that I use to pay for these things so let me put that money back in there and y'all just like that we are done i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know how things has been going for you guys this year so far in your money journey what are you doing different this year in 2024 i don't think i really need to do anything different i just need to be consistent consistency is key if you can be consistent in anything you will see results so this year i just plan on being consistent with my money that is my number one goal when it comes to my finances i'm going to share with you guys my money goals uh, my financial goals um, and just some things that I have planned in the near future in my up and coming videos. So stick along. If this is your first video, love you so much. Thank you for joining. Come back by, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, I love you guys. Bye.